David Vickers, how's he doing? <laughs> I'm sorry he's giving you a heart. <laughs> no, 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 I'm laughing because that's David being David. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Good night, good night. Oh, God, take care of both of them, please. I just wanted to stop by and uh, let you know I just saw Jessica. Uh -huh. She looks good, feels good. She's very upbeat that uh, this transplant is going to work. Well, that's what I'm praying for. Do you think we could possibly put aside our petty little issues for a while and focus on what's important? Well, the only thing on my mind is Jessica's health. Uh -huh. You know, Clint, David Vickers gave half of his liver to Jessica. That was really generous. Without him, we would be talking about, well, the unthinkable. And I really think that your resentment of David would be the last thing on your mind. Yeah. He's one hell of a guy. Without him, Jesse could be dead. Yeah, I understand that. On the other hand, it doesn't make him a saint. Well, who's talking about sainthood? David Vickers is not the good Samaritan that you think he is, Vicky. In fact, the truth is... What the hell was that? for you. Yeah, and you don't really need to sign for it. Sarah? Sarah? So if you look at it one way, I am the one who saved Jessica's life. After all, it was my idea to go all the way up to the prison and, and get David to be tested, and, and then, of course, I you know, encouraged him to go through with it. So after all, what can happen except that Clint's affection for me will exponentially increase? You are a piece of work. Thank you. Speaking of which, what are you working on? I'm looking at my website. You have a website? Yeah. I created one to help find Todd. People can anonymously, you know, log on and leave tips and sightings, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. And how many people have uh, left tips and sightings anonymously? Put a sock in it. So, have there been any responses? No. It's like Todd fell off the face of the earth. What's that look about? If Todd is gone, it might be best for you and the children. I can't believe that you're saying this. I just think that you and the children will be better off without Todd. Did you ever even listen to yourself, Dorian? One minute you hate Todd, the next I lose his child, and you're suddenly his biggest supporter. Now he goes missing for a few weeks, and you hate him again. You know what I think? I think that you're beginning to realize how nice it is to have me all to yourself now that he's, like, out of the picture. Are you going to give me a chance to explain to you what I do think? Go right ahead. Floor's open. Todd is gone. Whether... It's his own doing or not, doesn't matter. I am a realist, okay? Todd is not coming back this time. How long are you going to hold out false hope? I will hold out hope forever. Could refresh my memory here. When you first started looking for Todd, 
I thought it was for the sake of the children. Now it seems to me you're looking for Todd because you're still in love with him. Does it matter? Well, I'm uh, just kind of surprised at this shift in your priorities. The whole time I was in Chicago, I... I just wanted to see his face. Oh, Blair, do you think it's wise for you to reconcile with Todd? It's what I want. It's not like I was living in Chicago. I was just there for a while. What's in Chicago? Music. It has a really happening music scene. That's it? And it's not here. Well, what's wrong with here? I like my freedom. I like to travel when and where I want. You know, Landview feels like a prison to me. What about London? London? My dad's in London. That's what about London. We used to fight all the time. And my mother, yeah, she's a real perfect mom. I think I can count the amount of times she's called me on my right pinky. She doesn't care what happens to me. I was doing fine in Chicago until this. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what, uh, what this is and why are the two of you right in the middle of it. Would you like to feel this one? We're not gonna lie for you, Sarah. <sighs> okay. Damn. I haven't been on the road. I, I, I was for a little while, a tiny little while, but I've been living in Chicago for a long time. And the postcards to your father? I have friends all over the world. Most of them are on tour, okay? Happy, they made it, and I didn't. Postcards keep my parents from coming after me. So, you have been lying to your parents for what, a couple of years now? I guess that's what it is. Why, Sarah? Were you in some sort of trouble? No, no trouble. Just been living small with a dusting of trust fund here and there. I just didn't want everybody to know I was a loser. Oh, honey. Not making it in the most competitive industry in this world does not make you a loser. Well, I felt like one. I'd rather not say how I found out about Miles. But let's just say now that I know, I'm not gonna let him get away with what he's done. Just like I'm not gonna let myself get away with what I've done. I don't know. Do you believe her? Do you think that she killed Truman? No. Oh, I'm supposed to believe you? It's the truth. You are and have always been a liar. Cole has never lied to me. And I'm supposed to believe you over him? Well, from your reaction, I guess not. But when you find out that your little boyfriend knows where your daddy is... Shut up, Brittany! Just shut up! Cole would never hide something like that from me. And he would definitely tell me if he knew where my dad is. Hey, hey, what's all this yelling about? Star? You yelling about your father? God, I realize that you hate me. Please. Mm-hmm. 